It's not the time. Let's make sure this. Where you looking, right? Oh, God. I'm a little nervous. Why am I nervous? See when I ride a bumble. It's fake kills. One time. One time, one time. Stand up. One time, one time. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Meereen and I got a story time for y'all today. If you like what you see today, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching and please watch the end. So if you don't know already, I am a plus size fitness coach. What is a plus size fitness coach? Someone like me who is a plus size woman but is fit at the same time and yes those things do go together plus size and fitness do go together i like to focus on helping people obtain their personal best version of fitness not what society wants what their personal best is so let me get into this story time okay so I was minding my plus size business and posting as I do. And I thought I came up with a funny reel. I'm gonna insert the reel here so you guys can see. In my st sadistic mind, I thought that was funny. I thought it was a joke. Of course, I don't own a gym. I don't own Planet Fitness, so I cannot dictate who walks in front of my camera. I know this, but I thought that was funny. I thought my facial expression was funny. And so I posted it on my Instagram for my normal, wonderful followers that got my joke, ha 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 it, and moved on. I left it up on my page. I had it up there and it was up for a month. And then all of a sudden I started to notice that it was getting a lot of views. And I'm like, why is it getting so many views? It was had its normal views. I had about 2,000 views, which is normal on my page, which is pretty, like, I'll have, like, anywhere from 300 views to, I think my highest reel was, like, 8,000 views on my reels. Like, that's normally what I do. But this reel, all of a sudden, it was like, and I was like, wait a minute, this thing is about to hit 10K. So, I was like, what, where, where are all these views coming from? So I went into my analytics and it said that it was coming from Facebook. Uh, okay. Then the comments started coming. And at first, a lot of the comments were, oh, you don't own the gym. How dare you? You're entitled. And I'm like, entitled? Like, what happened to jokes? Like, what happened to joking? I don't know. But that was the, the trend at first. And then it took a shift. It took a shift when a reaction Instagram page, or a, I think he calls himself Karen, some kind of Karen. Like he's supposed to be outing Karens. He picked up my reel and put it on his, on his Instagram page. And then it turned from oh, you're entitled to complete fat phobia. Then they started attacking me as a plus size fitness coach saying, how can I even be coaching anyone when I'm obese? <laughs> and I, it, you know, <laughs> I'm going to just show you guys some of the comments. I, you won't believe them. I'm, I'm going to post most, I'm going to put up most of the best, um, and worst comments as I'm talking. So I was like, but you know what? It didn't surprise me because fat phobia is a thing. What is fat phobia? Fat phobia is being afraid or being afraid of or discriminating against people that are fat. And yes, I said it, fat. It's fine to own that word. It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. 
People are beautiful in all shapes and sizes. People are fit in all shapes and sizes. I myself work out just about every single day. If you took one of my virtual fitness classes, which are group fitness classes that I do on Zoom, Monday through Thursday at 7 p.m., if you took one of those classes, you would not deny that I am a fit person. Okay? However, I might not look what someone would assume someone would look like if they work out all the time, right? I don't have a six pack abs. I'm um, a large woman. I'm not skinny. I'm not slim. I'm a bigger girl. So I can just about guess that people automatically assume, this happens to me quite often, that I'm just starting out on my fitness journey. Actually, when I go to the gym to do some extra cardio, in addition to the workouts I do with my class, um, people will come up to me and be like, good for you. And not good for you like, yeah, girl, you killing it in the gym. Like, good for you, like, welcome to the gym, fatty. That kind of vibe. If you, if, if you are also a plus size woman that works out or a plus size man that works out, you know the vibes. You know the vibes. You go to the gym. You work out all the time. And someone comes up to you like, yes. Like, they'll stop me mid-workout. Please hold. I don't remember where I was. Lord Jesus. If you are a plus-sized person that works out, and you know the vibes. You know when you go to the gym, someone's going to come up to you like, good for you. Like it's your first time that you've ever been in the gym or it's your, you're brand new to your fitness journey. All of that. Even people not appreciating every step of the journey and constantly being like, oh, but I still got this and I still got that and I'm still fluffy and I'm still. All of that is fat phobic, right? But then... I'm going to be real, even as a larger person, right? I still don't agree that everything is fat phobic. Like if someone is like, like posts their before and after pictures and they've lost a lot of weight, I don't think that's fat phobic. I think that they just decided for themselves that they wanted to be smaller. They wanted to lose weight. Maybe they had joint issues. Maybe they had a reason why they needed to lose weight, but not every person that is heavy has health issues. I'm going to repeat that. Not every person that's heavy has health issues and not every person that's slim is 100% healthy. Your body size doesn't always dictate how healthy or unhealthy you are. So anyway, sidebar, back to the story. So the comments kept coming. And the overall theme a lot of people talked about was there's no way my plus size ass could be a fitness coach. And that just baffled me like that. Of so many people, like it was an overwhelming amount of people that said that, that ha ha ha, how could she be a fitness coach? Oh, she's just a fat girl with the camera, like all kinds of stuff. And I'm like, I don't think people understand like what a fit coach is. A fit coach does not have to be someone that looks like Mr. America or Miss Olympia or whatever. You don't have to look that way to be a fit coach because just a little backstory on me. I'm a person that has lost over a hundred pounds on two separate occasions. I'm a person that has been consistently working out since 2017 with no breaks. I've continued to keep fitness as a part of my daily life for that period of time. And before that I've worked out in the past, but I did have a period where I stopped working out. So that's why I say from 2017, but my fit might not look like your fit, but I can help someone that struggles with consistency become consistent. I can help someone that struggles with enjoying working out, learn to like to work out. I can provide an example of someone that might have slow 
um, results with weight loss, continuing on the journey, even though you're not dropping weight really quickly. So that's why I became a fitness coach because of those reasons. Everybody doesn't look the same. Everybody's fitness isn't the same. But in response to those incredible <laughs> comments, okay, I can't even think of the word. Like some of them were downright racist because I was called a gorilla. I was called Harabi or what? Some other things. Some of them I had to look up because I didn't even. I was like, who is that? <laughs> but the overall theme was because I'm a big, dark skin black woman. I'm a gorilla, and I can no way be a fitness coach because all I am is a big fat gorilla, right? Wrong. And, and I decided to make a video for YouTube because I wanted to inspire someone that's going to watch this video for the drama of it and see the different posts, the comments that people put up. But the reality is I want to inspire someone who struggles with being fit, who is afraid of going to the gym for this reason, because people are like, what are you doing in the gym, fatty? Good for you. Or just like laughing at you or watching you or looking at you as if you don't belong. I want to inspire that person to start their fitness journey or to continue with their fitness journey, even though they may have experienced something at the gym that made them want to stop. This video is for you. You matter. You belong in a fitness space. You don't have to be a size zero or a size six with washboard abs to be in the fitness space. You can go to the gym if you want. You can do my classes if you want. You can start your own fitness um, journey. You can start your own fitness business if you would like to because you belong. You cannot, no one can take that from you. No comments, nobody saying whatever they want to say about your journey. No one's opinion of you should matter. Only opinion that matters is yours how you look at yourself, how you view yourself. What everybody else thinks doesn't matter because honestly, most of the time, if somebody takes all of their energy to put this long, mean post under your video, that is them, that is their issue, not your issue, right? They may not like who they are. They may be jealous that you're brave enough to put yourself out there. They might be jealous of that because they don't have that ability. They don't have um, the drive to do something like that. So they take that out on you and they take it out with anger and venom and jealousy because that's underlying what it is. Because guess what? Even with my plus size body, my plus size body will work out. Most of those people that commented, if they were to take one of my classes, they wouldn't make it to for, through the first 10 minutes of the class. Okay? Okay? So don't let my plus size body fool those that don't get it. For my plus size crew, you know. You know how hard you work out. You know that you probably count calories more than anyone else. You know that if you sneeze, if you, not sneeze, if you even sniff, a cake, you're going to gain 10 pounds. You, we, we here. But for those people that don't get it, I guess they're either not going to get it or perhaps watching this video, they would have gotten some form of inspiration or knowledge about what it's like to be fat phobic and how they can stop being fat phobic. Okay. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to voice and talk about what happened. I wanted to talk about how um, fat phobia affects people when they go to a gym and people are coming up to you like, good for you, but not, not in a, not in a supportive way, but more, it's condescending. You don't know people's journeys. You don't know what they probably someone that may appear to you and they might be right now 250 pounds right but that person might have lost 300 pounds you don't know that 
So, and they might have been in the gym working and struggling and busting their butt for three years and have lost 300 pounds. And here you come with your good for you. Like it's their first day in the gym. Like that's condescending. You wouldn't walk up to a, a muscle man that you obviously see has like muscles on top of muscles on top of muscles. You wouldn't walk up to him work doing his uh, weights and be like, good for you. You wouldn't do that. So if you see a plus size body in the gym, either give it the same head nod that you would give the muscle man because they're in the gym, they're working out, they're doing what they have to do for their body. And don't assume that it's their first time in the gym. Don't assume that they don't know what they're doing. And if they are there for the first time, just give them the head nod and let them go about their business because it was very difficult for them to step foot into that type of environment when people are constantly judging, people are constantly ridiculing you, people are constantly putting you down for trying to get fit. And that's why people stop. And that's why people say, I'm never stepping foot in the gym again. And that's why I started doing virtual fitness so that people don't have that excuse either. They can work out with someone that looks like them and get to where they need to be for themselves. Right? So for anyone that doesn't understand what a plus size fitness coach is, it's not for you to understand. Honestly, it's not for you to understand. It is for the people that want to be coached by someone that's plus size. That's who it's for. It's not for you. Okay. Um, but I do recognize that a lot of folks prefer to work out with someone that has the physical appearance of a fit person right? Meaning they're really toned. They have, a, they have a lot of muscle tone. They have six pack abs and that's great. But sometimes that's genetic. Sometimes people just naturally don't put on weight, but they're not eating healthy. They're not exercising as they should. They just naturally have, um, they're naturally prone to be slim and they're naturally prone to develop muscle mass, right? In my opinion, Working out with someone that has worked very, very hard to get their um, their their gains to, has worked very hard to stay consistent. That looks more like a regular woman, or like every other woman, or most women um, that has a real woman's body, right? But is still working towards fitness every single day. That would be a person to get coached by right because I'm in the fight with you I'm actually my style of coaching is I work out with you so my live classes are not just me telling you what workouts to do my live classes are I'm doing the workout right along with you sweating grunting right along with you every single rep that's the type of coaching I do as a plus size coach because we're in this together. We're in this daily fight together. Um, so that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. If you watched all the way to the end, please, on the way out, give me a thumbs up. Um, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. If you found this video to be informative, if you found this video to be inspiring, if you would like to learn more about what it's like to be a plus size fitness coach, why not join a class? The link and everything is down in the description box. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on TikTok. I just started TikTok. Um, but most importantly, the best place to see me is in class. So I would love to see you in class. All of the links are in the description box below. I thank you for watching. And as always, don't forget to get into the zone. Thank you. Bye.